What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'm delivering you another video in our Editor X training series discussing the action bar here in Editor X. But first, I've got a surprise. If you haven't noticed, I got my first haircut since COVID-19 started. Did I have to wear a mask? Was the place completely sanitized and was it weird going out? Yes, yes, and yes, but I look like a human again and I'm happy to report that back to you guys. But without further ado, I think it's time to jump into the tutorial, but if you're brand new here, thank you for joining us and you're not going to want to miss any of this Editor X training content. You can stay in the loop and make sure you don't miss anything by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on and you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. Pretty great place to be when learning a brand new editor. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so this is going to be a very quick tidbit tutorial. It's very straightforward. So if you were coming here today expecting something long and extravagant, I'm sorry. I'm here to help you save time and save some stress when editing here in Editor X. And that's what I'm going to do, especially the time saving portion. So our action bar is this. If we click on an element in Editor X, this is our action bar. So it gives us the ability to click certain actions on an element. You can see we can edit the text in which it will open up the text editing panel. If we click back off of it, we can click back on. We can create an animated version of this element. If we click that, it will open the animations panel, in which case we can choose the type of animation it has. In addition to that, we've got our copy from Breakpoint. So this is pretty cool. We can actually copy an element's design and layout from a particular breakpoint from a different screen view so that way it'll share that same look and feel across a different breakpoint, a different screen view with that exact same element. So that's pretty cool and you can copy it from the breakpoint. You can also get some questions answered via Wix or you can copy an element design and this is where you can copy from a breakpoint. Uh, or from all breakpoints, just as we just discussed. Now, the action bar is different for every element. So you can see I just clicked on the background here. This has got a whole lot more actions attached to it because this is a video. So you can change the video, you can edit the video settings, you can choose the focal point of the video, which is, this is actually new. This is pretty cool. Let's get rid of this guy. Um, this is pretty news and you new and you can choose the focal point of the video So like where that focal point is located and you can see where on the video here and you can choose it and you can click it And it'll change the focal point, which is pretty cool in addition to that you can choose the behaviors So how does this video play? Is it automatic? Is it pause when there's a pause? Does it loop? So does it repeat you can play it in slow-mo? But the video has got to be captured in slow-mo in order for that to happen and the sound is there sound on the video? Is there not sound on the video? Do you want the sound playing and then you can come through you can change the design settings the background the borders um, Shadows fade out fade in that kind of stuff animations again and then breakpoint technology You can't copy the video from a breakpoint But you can see each element if we go to it has a different set of actions and this total bar up here is called the action bar and this is where you're gonna manage the different actions, different styling, different design, different animations for each element you go through in Editor X. You can see the uh, action bar is also from the classic editor, but it's got a modern uplifted facelift, if you will, from the classic editor. And there's more options for certain elements and more control over certain elements than there were in the classic editor. So it's pretty cool. It's very simple to understand, but I wanted to make sure we covered it as we're exploring the workspace here in Editor X. If this video helped you out, I would like you to hit that like button down below. Comment and let me know if it helped you out and what videos you're looking forward to or would like to see in our Editor X training series. Also, let's get a like because I got a 
haircut post COVID-19. Well, not really post because it's still happening for sure. But uh, I finally got my first haircut. So let's get a like there for looking human again. And lastly, if you're brand new to the channel or you're not brand new and you've been watching the content and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any of this Editor X training content and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. A perfect place to be when learning a brand new editor here in Wix. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on our next Editor X training video. I can tell you we've got two more this week and then that will complete module one, the workspace module. From that point, I'm going to gauge your opinion. So let me know in the comments of how you've liked the Editor X training series so far. If you would like these three videos each week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as your pure content for the week, or if you would like an Editor X training video associated to come out on one particular day of the week and then do different videos on like Wednesday and Friday or on Monday and Friday, whatever that may look like. I want to gauge your opinion to determine what's going to be best for you and provide you the most value. I just know there's a whole lot to cover with Editor X, so I didn't know if you wanted a complete start to finish series taking up probably what would consist of uh, several months to a year, if not longer, um, of just pure Editor X with a few other uh, tutorials intermingled throughout the Editor X and channel series. So let me know your uh, thoughts on that in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on our next Editor X video. Thanks for watching.